Hi all, in this video, let's see how to lazy load the scripts in JavaScript. So the best use case to use this is, so instead of loading all the scripts at a time in any of the application, so if you load all the scripts at a time in the initial load, what happens is the loading time of the application increases. So for that reason, so we need to lazy load some scripts in the application. So what scripts we need to lazy load? So for that, we need to understand the application. So the features which are rarely used, okay? Those features may need some scripts. So features which are rarely used and those features will have some scripts to be loaded. Those scripts should be chosen to lazy load or dynamically load in the JavaScript. So that's what we are going to understand in this video. First thing is like, we have taken an HTML file. So I have taken an input field, okay? Now, in this input field, whenever I focus something, then you need to load some script, okay? So instead of loading that at the beginning, what we are doing is when the user is focusing on this field, then only we'll lazy load this script. As I said, we need to choose the very rarely used features. Then only you need to use this lazy loading on these features, okay? Then only it makes sense, okay? Fine. First thing is like, let's have, we have an input field. So let's add some script to this. Whenever I focus on this, then we need to load the script dynamically. So let's see that. So I have taken one input field with the ID search input. So here in the JS file, what I'm trying to write is, so I'm taking the reference of this, okay. Search input document dot get element by ID and I'm referring that element search input. Okay, I'm taking that reference element and now we are going to add event listener. We are adding an event. You can add an event. Now I'm adding in the focus. So whenever I focus, I want to do like I want to load the script. So for that, I'm writing this callback function. Uh, I wrote add event listener. So here what we do is, so in here I am writing one more function called load script. Okay, and we can pass whatever the URL we want. In this case, I am loading the jQuery. I'm loading the jQuery with the CDN. CDN URL this is, I'm loading the jQuery. So when someone focuses on this input field, what we are doing, we are attached an add event listener and we are loading this uh, jQuery script. So here, not only just jQuery or CDN, you can load any of the file which is present in your local or in the server, okay? Now we need to write a function called load script. I will also explain you the edge case here in this. So function load script. So this takes the URL, so which should be loaded, okay? And now what we need, we need to add a new script to the document. For that, yes, I am going to create one script, a like document dot create, create element. I want to create an element and that element is a script because we need to load dynamically scripts, right? So I am creating a script okay? and that script reference is now present in this my script. And to this my script, I will add the SRC. I'm adding an SRC attribute and I'm giving the URL this URL. So whatever the URL you, you're going to pass, that would be taken here and that is attached to this script SRC. Then whenever someone focuses on this, we are calling this function and this script would be attached to the DOM. Now, apart from this SRC, I'm going to add one more class name. Okay, I will be adding the class name property as well. So I will let I will let you know why I'm adding this class name. Okay. As I said, I will be explaining about the edge case, right? So this is what I'm I'm going to explain about. So later on, we need to add this script to the document. Document dot body dot append children. So now we are adding this script to the document. So now let me just write a console. Just knowing that the script is added. Okay. Loading the script. Yes, we are good now. So let's check this, whether it works or not. Yep. So I'm just refreshing it once again. So let me focus on this. So till now it was not loaded, that JS file. So whenever I focus on this, see the network tab. Whenever I focus on this, see this jQuery was loaded. This script was dynamically loaded. Whenever I focus this, this script was loaded. And also you can see the console loading the script, fine. So now what happens if again I uh, again I keep this, again it is loading. 
you can see this how many times i focus on this event that many times it is going to load so this is not right right so whenever if it is loaded once that is enough again for each and every focus if you are loading that it is not a good practice so first thing is we understood how to lazy load the things okay and now we need to understand so this is what i said we'll discuss about the edge case so whenever you are focusing again you should not load it again for that what we need to do is we need to again write some piece of code okay now let's add that piece of code so i am taking a boolean like is loaded so i'm checking whether this script is loaded already in the document or not how am i checking that document dot query selector all so i'm trying to query select all and i'm giving it as a dynamic script so this is a class name i'm giving so this is the reason i am given this class name so first time what happens is this script will not be available first time this script will not be available so everything goes like this and this class name would be given to the script okay for the next time we should not load the script so that's the reason what we are doing we are taken one uh, variable okay and we are pointing to that script whether if it is there okay how we are checking that so if is loaded dot length so if already this script is added to the document then this length will be greater than zero then this length will be for sure greater than zero what does it mean it means the script is already added then you just written from here don't do anything just written here okay and just i'm writing one more console to make sure that it is here means it is not loading the script not loading the script right so let's check that so this piece of code helps us and it is going to verify whether the script is added to the document or not if it is not added then only the rest of the piece would be executed if it is added the length would be greater than zero in that case we'll return here itself we'll not do the rest of the things again so let's see this i refresh this and i'm showing the network here so if i again i will refresh this so to make sure that first time it works it loads and second time it is not loading I focused on this. See, this time the jQuery was loaded. Now, if I focus it again, it should not load. So again, I'm focusing. Oh, give me a second. So again, also it was loaded. Give me a second. I think something went wrong here. Okay, it is loading again and again. No, something is wrong here. So let me check it. Is loaded dot length document dot query selector on dynamic script so did i give in the correct one oh sorry we need to point with the dot so this is the mistake i did so as this is a class name i need to point this with the dot okay fine now let's see this i'm again showing this i'm now again refreshing it the mistake i did is i need to point it with the class name okay fine again i'm showing it so whenever i focus this yes we are getting the jquery okay and for the second part so console also loading the script is fine and whenever i again focus it see you can see the jquery is not loaded again and in the console you can see not loading the script it means that if statement was executed fine the mistake i did is i didn't refer it with the dot so that's the reason earlier case we couldn't able to get it so we need to refer it with with the dot so this is the edge case we need to most of the uh, cases everyone easily can do this okay but this is the part we need to understand once the script is added to the document for the subsequent calls for the subsequent focus events you should not add the script again to make sure that you are not adding it again you need to find whether the script is already added to the document or not if it is already added to the document we are just returning back so this is how you can easily implement the lazy loading of the scripts in the javascript you can do this as a lazy loading or the dynamic loading of the scripts Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.